Residents of Pocosin, Virginia feel and hear explosions coming from nearby Plumtree Island, a former military aerial bombing and gunnery range, now a national wildlife refuge. The explosions felt were of two World War II 250 pound bombs found lying unexploded many years after they were dropped. They were located and identified for detonation as part of the ongoing formerly used defense site cleanup effort to remove dangerous unexploded munitions. Last winter they found some uh, World War I era munitions. Uh, this year they found at least two 250 pound bombs. For Macaulay, the process is just the beginning. As a refuge manager, he wants to know what is out on the more than 3,000 acre refuge he is responsible for, so he can make a determination of what activities might possibly be allowed on the site in the future. If we can provide safe uh, access for fishing, hunting, wildlife observation, interpretation, environmental education, or photography, then we're encouraged to do that. Safety is the main concern, not in just what future activities may or may not be allowed, but also a concern for the wildlife that calls the refuge home. We want to make sure that as we're doing this vital work, we're uh, causing the least impact to the wildlife on the refuge as possible. The contractors working for the Army Corps of Engineers will begin taking soil samples as part of the next step in determining the way forward to best handle Plumtree Island, a way forward that may include hearing and feeling more explosions from the one-time bombing range. In Pocosin, Virginia, Fire in a hole. Patrick Bloodgood. Check out more Corps news at USACE dot army dot mail.